I've been waiting for a reason to make a video showing you how to downgrade an application or a game that you have installed on your Android smartphone or tablet. And Google just pushed out a new update to Chrome that prevents us from switching back from the grid layout to the older card layout. Now I've done previous tutorials that show you how to find the flags feature that help you revert back to that card user interface. But with the latest update to Google Chrome, Google has disabled that feature. Whenever we set that via the flags, it no longer changes the tab layout. So today I'm going to downgrade my install of Chrome. And since it's not a straightforward process, I'm going to be showing you how I do this. And while I generally do not recommend downgrading an application due to security related issues, I know there are a lot of people who absolutely hate the new grid layout and who are willing to go through these type of hoops in order to get the user interface that they enjoy most. So depending on the application you want to downgrade, you can either uninstall the application or you're going to be forced to uninstall the updates. So if it's a regular application that you downloaded from the Play Store, you're likely able to simply uninstall that application flat out. But in my case, for Chrome, it is a pre-installed application, and that means that I cannot uninstall it. Instead, I need to uninstall the updates. So we can do that by going into the Play Store, searching for the application we want to downgrade, and then going into that Play Store page. You'll likely also be able to go into the settings, then tap on apps, find all of, see all of our apps, and then locate the application from there. But depending on the app, you're not always going to have an uninstall updates or an uninstall button. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. It really just depends on the application, at least in my experience. So the, again, the goal is to uninstall the updates, which we can do from the app info page or the Play Store page, even though it just says uninstall. Whenever we tap it, we're going to be seen, we're going to be shown a prompt asking if we want to uninstall all of the updates this system app has had. Now with that done, you're likely going to be on an older, a very old version of that app. So now we need to download a newer version, one that is as up to date as possible without it adding in the feature or removing the features that you enjoy. And there are a number of different app repository websites and apps out there that you can download from. I trust apkmirror.com because it's run by the folks over at androidpolice.com. But there are a number of alternative application stores out there that you can downgrade these older versions of the app. And that's what we want to do. We want to downgrade to an older version of the app. So in my example here, the change that I do not like happened in version 91 of Chrome. So then I just simply want to download the stable version of version 90. However, I can also go back a little more and download version 89 or further. And this will be the same for the application or game that you want to downgrade. You'll see a list like this. You want to pick out the one that you want, the version that you want that includes the features that you enjoy. And then we simply need to download the APK that matches our hardware. So you may have an x86 phone, you may have an ARM phone, or you may have an ARM64 phone. 
Now, I've done tutorials that show you how to find out if your phone is running an ARM or an ARM64 chipset. Very few are running x86 these days, but still it's, it's available in case that is your device. And if you pick the wrong one, it's likely just going to give you an error message whenever you try to install it so that you can go back and pick the correct one instead. I believe this is the version that I'd want, the ARM64 of version 90. And since I'm using Pi-hole on my network, I'm going to just wait for this timer to set. And then I can download the APK for free like normal. Now, if you were going to just try to sideload this APK before or without uninstalling or uninstalling the updates, then you're going to get an error. Android does not let you downgrade from a higher version to a lower version. So we need to uninstall those updates first, and then we can update to the version we like. So once the application is downloaded, we're just going to open it. We're going to allow Chrome to install apps. And we're going to install that APK. This is going to be just like I had installed this application update from the Play Store. And we get an app installed pop-up right there. Now the last thing I recommend doing is going back into the Play Store finding the application in question that we're currently working on and making sure that we disable the auto updates for that application. So if we did all this work to downgrade the application, the Play Store is going to want to update that application automatically. And a lot of times this happens in the background without any type of notification to you. So if you want to prevent that so you can stay on that older version, that downgraded version, with the feature that you enjoy, you're going to want to disable the automatic updates. If you notice the application is no longer in the app drawer, even though it is was in, even though it said it was installed properly, it's likely installed an incompatible version. I noticed that happened with me just now. Once I installed the proper version from that website, it is now listed correctly and it now opens correctly. And now that I have downgraded Chrome, I'm able to search for the groups word, disable the three tab groups, experimental flag in Chrome. And now whenever I relaunch, I'm back to the old card user interface, thanks to downgrading Chrome on Android.